Hi there, I'm Hugo. I'm here with some new toolkit updates, 50 new tools as usual. Uh, I would like to highlight a few of my personal favorites. So the first is called my boundary response plan. And this tool is all about setting boundaries in conversations. You know, sometimes it happens that somebody says something or does something that is unacceptable to you. And if you're like me and most of my clients, sometimes we find it really difficult to react at that very moment. So later on, we regret that we didn't react in a way that would be, you know, defending our own boundaries. So this tool is all about helping you to do this. The tool makes you aware of what you notice, when signs of boundary uh, crossing, you could say, are present, to calm down and then to say something that is indeed honoring your own, val your own uh, boundaries. So you're, you come up with phrases, you think of phrases that you may say when a situation like this happens again. So it's all kind of the preparation for when this happens. And I find this, self my, I find this myself really helpful to you know, think of this and become more aware of what happens to me and how I can respond in those situations. A second tool that is also one of my favorites is called moving from rational gratitude to experiential gratitude meditation. I think a challenge when it comes to gratitude is that many people approach it from a very cognitive angle. So it's about listing the things that they should be grateful for and thinking of the things that they have and so on. But it's all about, you know, gratitude in the head, you could say. True gratitude, in my opinion, is more than knowing what you should be thankful of. It's feeling it. Gratitude is an experience. It's a very state that we can experience as human beings. And this meditation helps you to connect to the very experience of gratitude, which is, I think, very beautiful and way more three-dimensional, you could say, than uh, rational gratitude. Then there is a tool that's called Consulting the Future Self When Making Choices. There is an abundance of research showing that when people are considering the future and the impact of their actions for that future, this can help them to make choices that they, you know, value later on. Uh, a very common example is what they call anticipated regret. So once you start thinking of how you might regret the very thing you're about to do, the chance that you will do so becomes smaller. But you can also use this in a positive way, of course. You can ask yourself when you're about to make a choice, like, will my future self be happy with this choice? And when doing so, you're more likely, of course, to make a choice that you will also you know, feel happy about later on. So this tool is all about introducing this technique to visualize a future self and how the choice that you're about to make will impact this future self. Then there is a tool, it's called investing in valued relationships. Now, most of us, I think, agree that having positive connections with others is very important and having meaningful relationships is something that makes life worth it. However, I think when we consider the importance that we give to those relationships and our time that we invest in them, there is often a huge discrepancy. Often we say, those are the people that matter most to me, for instance, my brother or my mother or my girlfriend or whatever. And often when we really look at how, my, how much time we devote to them, there is a huge difference between what we consider important and how we act. So this tool is all about, you could say, creating awareness of that potential gap that may exist between what you value in your relationship, who you value as a relationship, and your investment in that very relationship. And finally, there is the values timeline. Now, this tool is all about your values during different life stages, you could say. We see that values develop over time. Values are very dynamic in a way, and most people don't think of values that way. It's not that they're written in stone. They evolve as we grow. You know, what is true in the morning of life, what is important to you in the morning of life, is not necessarily important in the evening of life. And this tool is all about that very realization, that help, helping people to understand that you're always free to choose your values. You know, a personal example, when I was younger, you know, I had completely different values than I have now. I'm, I'm a father at this, you know, moment in, in time and family has become tremendous value to me. So that value wasn't present in earlier days. And this tool makes people aware of that agency that they have when it comes to values. I really hope you will enjoy this update. Please feel free to leave comments under the tools. Uh, tell us what you think, what you need. We love to help. Um, so stay tuned for more. And for now, I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye.